chronic uh, alcoholic and uh, drug addict, and uh, I finally hit my bottom. I I I came up here to uh, Hope Ministries. I was I was still drinking and uh, drugging, and, uh, and I was uh, kind of on a disastrous, uh, unintentional, probably suicide <laughs> uh, type thing, and. Uh, just I, you know, I'm, I'm disconnected from uh, uh, as a direct result of my drinking and drugging. I have no family. I've just kind of wandered from North Carolina uh, to here uh, through so much alcohol and drug abuse. I was just I just became unable to work. I couldn't stay sober long enough to. I might get a day or two in, and I was unable to work. And uh, you know that that led to my homelessness. You know, like I said, I knew I was dying. You know, and. Uh, I've never really had a good relationship with God, but I always believed in Him, you know. Um, but when I came here, you know, I felt something I hadn't felt. I felt loved. I hadn't felt loved in, in a long, long time. You know, I feel uh, a lot of hope, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I'm learning about God through uh, this uh, step program I'm into, uh, due to go over to the door of faith in uh, two more weeks and. Uh, you know, I just I just feel something uh, come into my life. I ain't gonna say that, you know, that uh, all my problems are gone, but surely I can work on them now. You know, it's something I was unable to do because you know when you're hungry and uh, homeless, it's 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 hard to to focus on anything but getting drunk and feeding that disease. But uh, today, now that you know, I can I got clothes and can take a shower and. Uh, got uh, chapel and uh, the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous and uh, uh, you know I just I feel a lot of hope. I'm really grateful. I love these people here. You know they've helped me and uh, I got a desire to live today and, and the sky's the limit. You know I'm just going to keep growing. You know I, I, uh, I just uh, I'm really grateful. <laughs>